Are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Eat up. Really, I really take issue with this strategy. Mm hmm. Don't look at it, Marion. But it's working for now, and that's all that matters, apparently. And I would feel different too if, like, hanging out with Emmett wasn't fun. But hanging out with <laughs> Emmett's fun, so. I will accept this clearly bad idea for as long as it goes. That will never stop being awesome. It's a good effect, the sky. The Light Warden is dead. The Blessed's prayers have been answered. Just enjoying it. <laughs> Emmett's in the back, like, uh, oh shit. I that they have. You don't get to have fun, thank Chris. You're still in trouble. His condition yet troubleth thee. Oh, it yes. He was seen it. Though he shows no immediate signs of corruption, the danger remains. He must be told. Would you describe it to me, Marie Angers? Paint for me a picture with your words. Oh. His shoulders make me feel things. A sea of shimmering stars. Diamonds strewn across a raven gown. Boundless and beautiful. Good description. It is an exquisite sight, not unlike that of the source. Calm and gentle and forgiving. I can see it. For however deep the void or wide the expanse, there is no shore so distant as to be beyond the reach of light. Ominous though that may sound, given our present travails. Did she just spank him? <laughs> I think he just got a butt slap. <laughs> that or a supportive <laughs> clasp on like the back, but well that, fought. I think that was a, return home. a coachly bump of the buttocks. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna have fun with that in the edit. <laughs> oh yeah, do this through Moriage. We'll be here for a month. <laughs> oh, they're gonna extend Yeah, it. they're gonna do it. They're gonna do it right now. Nice. The murals. If I am not mistaken, they predate the Empire. How can you tell? peculiarity of the paint most are made from mineral based pigments but whatever was used here is older than anything i have ever seen according to almut this sanctuary was built to preserve the wisdom of the ancients what events do these murals commemorate i wonder we'll never know <laughs> I... Must you always linger after defeating your enemies? <laughs> Navigating these halls on foot is exhausting. <laughs> Come to lead us to safety, have you? I was bored. But how is the hero of the hour? Never change. Never change, Emmett. My eyes are up here. Hmm. Fighting fit, I see. Keep up the good work. 
<laughs> You're plotting something. Well, obviously. Every hour of every day. <laughs> but never you mind about that. Uh, As I have told you a thousand times before, I like to watch. Gross. Nothing more. At least he knows what he's into. Well, I would quit this place and I suggest you do the same. There is yet work to be done. Yet work to be done. Ah, oh, there is a sight to bring a tear to the eye. Here we go. You recognize these scenes? Recognize them? I was there. <laughs> that I do. Indeed, there was a time when anyone and everyone would. Until one calamitous day when the world was divided across ten and three reflections. Sundering the land and all who dwelled upon it. And the worst part? No one could remember it. Not really. Just fragments and fleeting memories of an achingly familiar world. A vision shared of a paradise lost. Preserved only in song and scripture and paint. Once upon a time. Yet here we find ourselves again, to look, learn, and remember. Then share with us the stories you know so well. We are listening. Mm -hmm. And at PowerPoint, <laughs> do it! No. Before the great sundering, there was one world. A world that knew naught but peace and prosperity. Until it was faced with a crisis. Unprecedented. Terrifying. Civilization found itself perched upon a precipice, staring into oblivion. But through prayer and sacrifice, the will of the star was made manifest. Zodiac was his name. And by his grace was the calamity averted. Zodiac. A savior mighty and magnificent, deserving of reverence and gratitude. One would have thought, yet some thought otherwise. From the fears of these naysayers would rise Hydaelyn. She who was to serve as his shackles. To bind him and hold him in check. And so they fought, and they fought, and they fought. And in the end, Hydaelyn was victorious. With all her strength, she smote him dealing a blow so devastating that it split the very fabric of reality. And thus was Zodiac banished and his being divided. That concludes today's lesson on <laughs> long forgotten history. Though I imagine your mother would offer a rather contradictory account, as is her woke. Or you're not telling us the whole story. I'm sorry, I can only assume I misheard. But it sounded an awful lot like you were implying both Zodiac and Hydaelyn are not gods. That was my question. But primals? But primals, yeah. What? Not gods of the first? Is that what you thought these paintings depicted? Or... Oh. They are gods after a fashion, yes. But no different from the kind with which you are so intimately acquainted. Hey. Formed of faith and prayer, of conviction and devotion. The eldest and most powerful of primals. Mm. 
You have spun quite a tale. Yet you have not explained the role of the Asians in all of this. How is it you are privy to ancient secrets lost to time? <laughs> finally, finally you ask the right question. And shrewd questions warrant honest answers. We Asians know because it is our history. Our story. It was we who summoned Zodiac. We natives of that sundered paradise. Now, do you see why we yearn for the great rejoining? For our world for our people, for all creation to be made whole again. Wouldn't you wish for the same? <laughs> I just made myself empathetic and I will still brush you off. Dude has a point. If what he says is true. Yeah, so we're going to kill Heidelin because she's a primal and like we don't want any of that around here. It's, I mean, yeah, if that's how we live our life. Yeah. You know, like a, a, a zero tolerance policy for, for primals. Well, and if they're going to pull, they might not do it, but if they're going to pull the yin and yang storyline where you can't have good without evil, like killing Zodiac would mean there would be an imbalance anyway. So you got to kill both, even if Heidelin's in there being like, Please do it for me. You know, he'll mm. he'll feel think but kill me because it's but I have to put up a fight because like, you know, stuff. Not that it's a bad storyline at all. Like that's you know how it goes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Balance. Ooh, okay. That's cool. Yeah. Like if he's even like in the ballpark of truth, like Oh, why would he lie? What reason does he yeah. have to lie? Like, yeah, I mean if you you kinda feel for the Asians if that like right if that's true it's like well hey we were here first we just want we just want our reality back so is an Asian a perfect being then and because i don't know if you call it perfect if well, it's like, just like they're in they're the eyes like, of varus perhaps right like he is Asians are rejoined beings that somehow escaped calamitous fortune and being split because that's what Varys was talking about, was all the, the, the races being divided and the peoples being split. Are Asians, according to Emmett, a forged being and already part of that? I'm not sure I think it matters if they're a quote-unquote perfect it, being or not. I mean, it, like, it, it doesn't really matter. Not, but my it, brain it, like, like, you know, puts them on the shelf next to all like precursor races. Yeah. Uh, like, the, yeah, it's kind of Prothean kind of thing going on the... Yeah, I think Forerunners from Halo, because sure. I'm a Halo nerd, but, um, yeah. It, it, that's a cold turn, because it makes the Asians empathetic. Right. Emmett's already likable. Like, Emmett's got all fun. the, he's the a fun tales. Villain. He, yeah, he's got all the all the building blocks of a a likable villain, but he's still a villain yeah. up, until the, uh, up until this point. Up until this point, you give... You give them, you give the Asians uh, a, a moral ground to stand on. Word. So maybe that's why our in. Well, no. But it, it's, it still bears the question of like, how do you feel about primals, Kyle? Because even if, oh, okay, I kind of feel for the Asians, but it's like, well, they also were responsible for bringing the first primal into existence. Well, I also don't know how gods work in this world very well. Like, is uh, Ralgar. A primal, or or are there actual gods? Because clearly, Heidelin and Zodiac have had a heavy influence on the way things have gone down. That's an that's an interesting thought. So, are there even gods, or are there primals? I forget about the other like gods. Honestly, yeah, they're not like really a big part of this. When other things show up and try to kill you, you're like, that's that exists. I need to deal with that. I forget about things like Ralgar yeah. constantly. 
I'm just going <sighs> here. And uh it's a lot to think about. Thank you for all the super chats, by the way. We'll we will catch up on that, Mob. We're just we're having a think. Yeah, no, we're um, we're enjoying the lore here. I'm gonna yeah. open my little video I made. And Oh my god. Because then, then I assume that these are the pre-split people, so a, a uncalamitied people summon Zodiac, right? No, oh, that this was the pre-calamitous world. So did an uncalamitied people summon Zodiac, and then supposedly right, right, you know, I'll take it as fact for now. And then here we have the Zodiac fans and the Heidelin fans. So these would be split peoples now. Or are these still Asians? They look different. Well, are they different? Yeah, they, they're they're a little different. There's that touch of red on them, which I guess might stand for the little red mask that Asians summon. I, I can't see what you're looking at in real time, so. Sure, sure. Is... I'm I'm uh, picture two and picture three is what I'm kind of queuing between, but I know that doesn't help you at the moment. A mystery to enjoy. And don't spoil. Don't spoil, please. Now let us be dumb, please. <laughs> it's, the, it's the point of what we do. Let us enjoy our, our there's, ignorance. There's, there's a thing there's a thing that happens with Final Fantasy Fourteen where and or really anything where you know the ending. Things seem obvious because you know the answer. I, but I they think... may not be as obvious as you think they are. I think it also, I think it comes from a more innocent place in a lot of cases too. I think it's more that when you enjoy the story so much, you fear that questions and confusion might make you enjoy it less. So you want to help the people who are struggling. But in this case, yeah, we are I enjoying really, the I struggle. really push back against that though. I'm like, like just let me, just let me have my experience. Yeah. Like, if I'm wrong later, I'm happy to own up to it. Do you possess, or do you suppose there's any truth in what Emmett claims? All right. <laughs> Just, just nope out of that. I'm just I'm gonna go skip the end. <laughs> Emmett Emmett fuck that's claims. <laughs> <laughs> she wears a haunted expression. Though recent events plainly warn for the discussion, I think it is best that we wait until Alphano and the others are present. Emmett included. How convenient that he should choose this moment to keep to the shadows. Well, no matter. For the present, we should return to Farno and make certain that your Morans withdraw. <laughs> the Umorans. While after that, Slitherbo, the blessed, no doubt, elated by uh by what has happened to the sky. Right. Oh, that's a really fancy uh, red mage. Nice job, trader of paradise. Well done. Uh, Ritolia from earlier, thank you for the very generous super chat, mm. uh, said, and now you know what has uh, has had us so excited for you to learn quite the bomb, huh? Yes, except it's Emmett, and so I question every friggin' word of it. <laughs> True, we have we have some questionable players, Orion J and Emmett, present, and thank yes, not uh, helping. Questionable narrators. So I would say, I, I think I'm interested to hear what Alphano has to say, because he's normally wrong about emotional and possibly political things, but usually when Alphano says stuff, it's true when it comes to lore, because it's like repeating mm, it for the audience. That, that's oh, it, that's pardon, all I know. Pardon me. Pardon me, I'm gonna embiggle myself. It's my turn, Garrett. I got, I got, oh. sleep, I got a sleepy grub coming to visit. Oh. I got my sleepy little grub. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Kristen. Say hi. Get in camera. <laughs> hey, good to see you. My little grub's here, everybody. Everyone, say hi Woo. to Ian. Oh my word. The baby. <laughs> he's got gels. Dude, he's he's a little roly poly now. Oh yeah, he's plumped up. He's a plumpy my goodness. boy. Yeah, yeah I, I saw like day one wrinkle baby. Oh, yeah. yeah he's fast now. Oh. That's the last picture I saw. <laughs> Was it three weeks yesterday? Yeah. yeah, three weeks yesterday. God, has it been that long already? Ten pound, ten pounder. I wouldn't pour in the Dude, that is adorable. Yeah. Right, I'll pass, I'll pass back sleepy boy here. Oh, Karth came in perfect. <laughs> Zizen writes, babies for views? How dare you? It works, though. <laughs> Subbed. <laughs> yeah, he, he's, he's a biggin. He's not as big as his brother was, but he's a biggin. That is freaking adorable. That That's freaking amazing. That's exactly what my mind's eye saw, too. But, you know, it's a serious <laughs> moment. We, we can't have such a foolishness in such a serious lore moment. But yeah, 100%. That's what I saw. 
You ready? You ready, cowboy? Yep. This is the, like the, that hat is so like straight up Woody Toy I Story. I wish I had a, if I had a better Indiana Jones hat, I would have worn it. I wanted to do an explorer's outfit today. How does this temple. game not have a brown fedora? I'm sure it does. Or I, oh no, I got a fedora. I just need to dye it brown. Maybe I got that fedora. Is it dyeable? I thought they were always black. But the one for like the the weird like MIB kind of look. Maybe I can dye that one brown. MIB don't wear hats. No, 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 no. no. But the, I got that like, you know, uh. I studied the blade outfit, the trench coat. Yes, yes. And it might be also don't wear trench coats. So I'm just going to. I know. I did it with like an if You're going to monkeys and apes me. Okay, fair. Um, fair. I'm a, I'm a MIB slave. I know, but you, last right? stream I made like an MIB look where I had the, where I used the. Um, uh, oh my God. Oh my. What's that Brannigan's faction in this game? Um. The armory, the holy shit! What is, what does Sid hang out with? Sid's Sid's group, the, the Iron, Iron works. works, the Iron Works. Okay. Anyway, I'm done. I remember what we're talking about. Let's let's keep going. I made it with a woman and from the men. Almet says, cutscene time. You are returned and unharmed. I see. Indeed, I am pleased to report that the Light Warden is no more. Thanks in large part to you. That the death of a single sin eater should make such a difference. Our, as our numbers waned, so too did our hope that the ruins we have devoted our lives to guarding would ever find purpose. Yet here you are, the allies for whom we have waited these many centuries, and with your arrival came the chance to pass on our legacy, the ancient wisdom of, our, of the Empire. That alone would have been a reward enough. Never did we imagine it would serve to banish the light that pervaded these woods. On behalf... Uh, same person. On behalf of the V's, our forebears, and the late Emperor of Ronka, you have our deepest thanks. Centered. And seen. Centered. There is something about that that does make me feel calm. Oh, that's why you do it. Like, you know, for realsies, not for like show. Yeah. <laughs> it is we who should be thanking you. Our journey through the Quitania Ravel proved most enlightening. To be privy to such knowledge is an honor, one which we, sh uh, we never hoped. Yes, please, you need not be so humble. We but do our duty as decreed by the late Emperor. Would that he were still with us to express his gratitude in person. But sister, does this not mean our duty is fulfilled? To our allies, perhaps, but the ruins cannot be left unguarded. So long as we live here in these woods, the secrets of Ranka must not fall into the wrong hands. <laughs> Is she clasping her lapel, or is it a thumbs up? That looks like a thumbs up to me. Is Runar still here? No, we escorted him back to Slitherbow shortly after you set out. If you would return to the Night's Blessed, we will... Uh, if you would return to the Night's Blessed, we will not keep you any longer. I suspect they would be glad of your company. I feel like you, you would be able to hear them cheering from this distance. Mm -hmm. Just not like in the mad distance. The sky has your honor to die. <laughs> Don't just shit and see it. <laughs> uh, thank you, Almet. I look forward to the day when we might share more leisurely visits in the ruins of Ronka. We will await your return then. Is there any custom lines if you're... A a bun girl and you show up? Because I know the bun girls that would be playing in Shadowbringers would be from the source. But do they care? Are there any, like, lines they do? I don't know. All right. Uh, I just realized that Runar is the same coloration as my cat Dexter, and now I love him even more. <laughs> I like his uh, Austin Powers chest hair. <laughs> I guess it's a little more pat. Do I make you randy, baby? Oh, yeah. Spelling for you guys, Jeffrey Morgenthaler. Yes. Thank you, Gaijin Hunter. Also, hey, Gaijin Hunter. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. I think I saw you a few times on the internet. Uh, Slipped my mind to say hello. Not the worse for wear, 
Uh, all right, you're already talking to Renar. I am. It's a, it's a talkie. That film strip above your head. We, should we show? It's a talkie. Yes, I see. Shit, yeah. You needn't worry about us. What became of the Yamoran soldiers, more importantly? They turned tail and fled at the sight of the night sky. This music is Twin Peaks of shit, and I can't get over the it. Children of the Everlasting Dark have also retreated back to Woven Oath. Try as they might. Wait, what? They could not deny oh, I guess because it's day. <laughs> we didn't come here fast enough. <sighs> we hung out for too long and we ruined the moment. The sunless sea of heaven, full of love and grace, where none need no pain or suffer. Our curse continues in reverse. I guess it'd still not be a like light sky, it'd be in blue that moment, sky. When the sky's light began to wane, I knew our prayers had been answered. That we were doomed to face oblivion at life's end no longer. When first we met, I harbored certain suspicions about you. Now I see that I yeah, was right. That's a turn. You are the bringers of shadow, the warriors of darkness, the saviors for whom we have prayed for so long. I suppose you're not entirely wrong, but we are not worthy of your reverence, nor have we any desire to be worshipped. If you would pray, Pray for your children, that they may one day know a better world. Shall you better tell him he's a hunky man. I will do as man. you say. Please, let us at least hold a feast to celebrate your victory. You deserve that much. You gonna make I'm a soup? Sorry, Runar, but there is still much to be done and scant time in which to do it. We must go. All of us. For we share the same path and the same fate. Oh, <laughs> he's going to be sad. We know he's got a crush. So be it. I ask only that you hold us in your hearts. As we would hold you in ours. A lot of weight behind that you. And ever after, by the boundless dark, this I swear. Runar is like the best kind of earnest. Ah, Ardbert. Oh, he's smiling. Yeah, he's doing okay. I'm happy that Ardbert is coming out of his, his emo depths. Yeah. Here's some money. Here's some money. Since you won't make the feast, buy yourself a good dinner. <laughs> Is there any part of this? Oh, I guess there's this blind forest that might be coming up later. Oh, we never did the Oxbillion Gap. John, thanks for the super chat. Do I make you Runa, baby? 